All right, a bit of a different one today. We're going to be ranking all Call of Duties since Call of Duty. Um, I've done a lot of research on this, wrote down some notes, took in a lot of advice, a lot of reviews. I read a lot of reviews, okay? And we have figured out which Call of Duty is best. And as you can see, I've got a tier list. This is going to be personal experience, other people's experiences, how they were reviewed. So there you go. You can see there, you've got all the dot points. We've got them in order here, so we're going to go through in order. Make sure you smash that like button subscribe down below so we're gonna start with call of duty what what year did this release 2003 four something i was two years old three years old but i will say i don't know if it was one two or three i played them on a thinkpad in high school this nerd yeah that guy would hand them out on a usb stick and instead of doing school <laughs> we would sit there on a thinkpad and play call of duty they started everything so I, I, I can't really tier them too lowly. I, I don't really know where to put them. I'm going to put one there because it started everything and the other two there. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Had that, it had that infamous starting mission with Captain Price, the training uh, drill. Everyone knows that. Everyone, everyone has seen that. The memes from Captain Price. Another thing, it was based on Modern Warfare. Every other first person shooter at the time was like World War II, which people... Uh, tend to enjoy. There was a lot of reviews saying at the time the multiplayer was just there wasn't even anything close to it and obviously the campaign. So it has to go. I don't know if it's goat. It might be Peng. All right, Call of Duty World at War. This one went back to World War II, which is what people didn't really want. It did set up the Black Ops series with um, Victor Reznov. He was in uh, World at War. Once people played the campaign of this and started the multiplayer, most of them went back to COD 4, Modern Warfare. It did add the first ever zombies, which was new at the time, and it was pretty highly touted. So, I mean, it's all right. That's where we're, we're going to put that one. Modern Warfare 2. Now, this is the game that everyone's been waiting for. 98% of people, I reckon, have this in GOAT tier, which I'm going to agree with. It, great multiplayer. Multiplayer. The multiplayer in this was outstanding. Nothing come close to it at the time. The campaign was great. No one seen it coming. Um, obviously, the Price and Shepard fight scene. Back then, games were made for passion, not for money. This felt like a game that was made because the people liked making games not because they liked making money. From Modern Warfare, from Call of Duty 4, they added a lot of things to grind for, like camos, emblems, guns, all this stuff that wasn't in Modern Warfare, which was a great addition um, and made people want to play the game more. But it's still goat tier. The next game is the first COD I ever played properly. PlayStation 3 got this COD. And let me tell you, it has got to go up there too. It was just like a Hollywood movie. The zombies took off that went to the next level from world at war they worked on it kino de toten five two of the best maps it was still like it felt like they were working on it because they loved working on it not because they wanted your money it, i loved that campaign i remember i was like 12 13 i was like this is this is great the next the next uh the next call of duty modern warfare 3 now this one is a bit of a weird one out of all the reviews i read i played it a bit i can't vividly remember it in my brain because i was still stuck on black ops i was still playing zombies i was still enjoying all that stuff the single player felt like it felt like a bit of a downgrade the ending was satisfying you finally kill makarov at the end so i mean i think it's got to go into it's all right now the next game black ops 2 after after modern warfare 3 it didn't have very uh high expectations because it was a bit of a mid game i think it um surprised some people it had a non-linear campaign your choices changed how the game ended the time switching between 1986 i think it was and 2025 it made it more intriguing black ops 2 was widely renowned as top tier it was the same as modern warfare 2 black ops it was in that uh tier how people talked about it it obviously had the zombies as well, which was um, even better than Black Ops. The storyline to it, the maps, it had transit. So it is going to go in goat tier as well. All right, this is where things really took a turn. So next up, we have Call of Duty Ghosts. Lacked a decent plot. It had a bland, bland, bland story mode. Uh, repetitive missions, they all felt very similar. Multiplayer, the maps was massive. It was an 8v8 map, which made a slow-paced game spawn camping was a problem in this game um extinction they brought that in that was trash they got rid of the uav which is weird in multiplayer it is going to go in sucks ass next up advanced warfare mid 
it was very mid it sh short campaign i think it was like six hours or something um the graphics are really good for 2014 it was the same old game but they added like exoskeletons and heap and heaps of new tech the villains in the campaign seemed a bit out of pocket cartoony they weren't very believable um and the micro transactions that was a big killer of this game it's either in had better or sucks ass off my personal opinion and not going off other people's reviews it's going in sucks ass black ops 3 all right this one's a weird one great zombies the zombies was awesome they were making they were updating dlcs and bringing out dlcs for this game like three four years later the campaign it had no real connection to any of the previous black ops games it was a weird time it came out on previous gen consoles kind of like the new cods coming out on ps4 and uh, Xbox One, not suited for it. You didn't really get how the game was intended to be. So anyone that bought it on the 360 or the PS3 was just cooked. Like it wasn't any good. It had the same camping, spawn issues, all that stuff as in uh, Advanced Warfare. One review said, I would rather play ET on the Atari 2600 with one hand and the Duck Hunter control than play this game again. Taking that into consideration, I think it has to go in had better. Considering Black Ops 2 is so good, it should have been better. Next up, Infinite Warfare. It had a lot of hate. At launch, it was just a very highly hated game. Its campaign was all right, nothing to brag about. Sort of, yeah, you get it in every Call of Duty game. This one wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. The multiplayer, though, in the grand scheme of things, was a shambles. It was trash. People still hate on this game. One review said, I made an IMD account just to give this piece of shit a one star. It had zombies, but it sucks ass. Call of Duty World War II. We're back to the World War II. The campaign was very highly rated. People loved the campaign in this. There's a lot of uh, World War II fanatics out there when a game comes out based on world war ii they they want to play it people love it the multiplayer though it wasn't released how it was meant to be it felt rushed like if you go back and play this game now it'd probably feel fine but at launch it felt rushed it wasn't a very good game it's probably gonna go had better all right the infamous black ops 4 all i have to say is it didn't have a campaign obviously it came out with blackout but that it wasn't good. It was trying to compete with Fortnite. Fortnite at the time was the massive Fortnite and PUBG. Between World War II, Black Ops 4, Fortnite, PUBG blew up. Prime Fortnite, everyone was playing it. This felt like a cash grab at the Battle Royale thing. They said, skip the campaign. If we bring out a Battle Royale, people will buy it for that. But it wasn't very good. Not many people played Blackout. As for the multiplayer, loot boxes, battle passes, and microtransactions tend to ruin the experience of this game for multiplayer. It is going to go in sucks ass for me. And when a Call of Duty game comes out with no campaign, uh, I think you deserve to go in sucks ass. Every Call of Duty game before this had had a campaign, and now you decide not to do it to compete with Fortnite and PUBG. Doesn't make sense to me. Modern Warfare. Now this one had a lot of hype. It uh, people were hoping. It was a reiteration of obviously Call of Duty 4. It was bringing back the same characters, different storyline, same characters, brought in some new ones. All the previous Call of Duties were fairly lowly touted. People wanted this one to be good. It had great graphics. It looked amazing. The campaign was, um, in my opinion, it was good. I had a fair bit of fun in Modern Warfare, whereas I didn't have fun in a lot of the previous games. Obviously, it was released with Warzone. Warzone blew up. Peak Warzone, lockdown, COVID. That time was almost like the Fortnite 2018. Everyone was playing it. It was great. I was streaming it. I was making videos on it. I was loving it. Modern Warfare was pretty good, in my opinion. I'm going to put it in Peng. Black Ops Cold War. After Black Ops 3, people wanted this to be a better, a better game. A good start to that was it had a campaign. It felt like the sequel to black ops that we never got the best campaign since infinite warfare the multiplayer in cold war in my experience had a good casual uh feel about it i'm gonna put it in it's all right it was a good refresh next up call of duty vanguard it also goes back to world war ii um most people hated it it wasn't very highly rated it started and didn't really know where it wanted to be as a game it started as a world war ii game and then it started bringing in all these skins and gun customizations that weren't really suited to world war ii there's a certain fan base of world war ii fans who want to play the game because it is like world war ii or it uh, feels realistic whereas if you're running around with a 
shiny purple uh, gun in World War II. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, so that turned some people off. It felt like they reused all the movement from Modern Warfare 2019. Put it into this, but they done it worse. So it's going to go in hard better. Next up, we got Modern Warfare 2. It felt like it was a bit of a mid follow-up to the 2019 Modern Warfare. The campaign wasn't as good. It released with Warzone 2.0, which wasn't as good as the original Warzone. They removed a lot of movement in like the multiplayer aspect. They couldn't slide cancel. A lot of that stuff they removed, which people were against. A lot of people said it was catering to the bad players, which it probably was. Some people might not complain with that like i was i played this game i stopped playing it within two weeks three weeks and then i didn't touch it again so it is gonna go in it's all right modern warfare 3 it wasn't fun at all i didn't like modern warfare 3 the cosmetics were just stupid when you see real stupid ones it just feels like you're playing you're playing call of duty first person shooter it's a war game you want to be kind of immersed in it even if you are playing casually the campaign was only like three hours long it didn't feel memorable it felt lazy it felt like they just threw it out there um all the maps were like reused they reused all the maps they didn't have come out with any like originals that led to it having like one of the lowest scores on imd i don't know if it's had better or sucks ass i mean i think it sucks ass having no campaign <laughs> having a three hour campaign is basically the same thing it's gonna go and sucks ass next up black ops 6 obviously it's still the beta we don't know how the game's gonna end up but from my experience i think it's gonna be all right i, I can't get hyped up about it it felt like they were listening to everyone the spawns was trash in the first weekend they listened they kind of changed it for the second weekend the omni movement's a bit weird it's not really called for it's gonna make it a very meta based game high skill game which if you're high skilled it'll sue you but if you work eight hours a day ten hours a day you come home you're like oh i want to play cod you jump on black ops 6 you're probably not gonna have a fun time um it's gonna be it's all small maps it's gonna be meta smgs jammed in there to make the sweatiest little dogs you've ever seen hopefully they can change it so it sort of evens out but i don't have high hopes um so it's gonna go in all right all right that wraps up the tier list as you can see we've got modern warfare 2 call of duty black ops and black ops 2 in goat which i think most people would agree with they might even put cod 4 in goat but for me, COD 4 was in Peng. It was sort of the lead up. They figured out a lot of things in COD 4, put into uh, Modern Warfare 2. Um, and then obviously, down the bottom, you've got Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, and Modern Warfare 3. These are probably five of the most hated Call of Duty games. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Um, you know the rules. Leave a comment down below if you disagree with something i've said uh everyone has their own opinion please let me know down in the comments check out another video right here you'll enjoy this trust me and i'll see you in the next video bye